truth, which is the word of God. This is your head. And I have to beat the word of God into your head, brother. Act, act. Okay, Once okay. Her so. first period, her first period, she is considered to be a woman. Okay, yeah. So okay. then, yeah, so then that's fine. That's, yeah, yes. No, that's, that's not fine. fine. That, uh, that's not fine because if you're saying that it's okay for you to sleep with a minor, someone who's nine, eight, seven, just because they hit puberty. I need to know that. No comment, but because y'all just gonna misconstrue my words. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna be talking about a Christian TikToker, a very heavily religious TikToker that goes by the name of Q Top. This whole controversy with Q Top and the terrible statements and arguments that he made happened on a debate channel, which I will have linked down below in the description. Now, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of different things. First thing that we're going to be taking a look at is the obvious, like, start from where this entire controversy came from. The live stream where he debated multiple things with other people, and it kind of just spiraled out of control. Then we're going to follow it up with his two videos that he made backing up his previous statements instead of actually just going, oh damn, I was wrong about this. Then shortly after those two videos he made, he made a video talking about how he's releasing a new song. Well, whenever you do release it, Q-Top, this is my heavy suggestion here. Just probably unrelease it. I doubt it's going to be good anyway. Now, I do want to give a heavy warning here. What Q-Top says is extremely stupid and nasty in multiple different ways on the spectrum of stupid and nasty. Without further ado, I say we just jump right into the controversies. I want you guys to know before I show you this debate thing, is that there's two main people who are saying some rather nasty shit, being Q-Top and a person by the name of Seth. I don't know who Seth is, I didn't really care enough to look into him because I'm focusing purely on Q-Top for this video. I want to know no, you're good, if you're bro. saying... I want to know if you're saying... I want to know if you're saying that it's okay for you to sleep with a minor, someone who's nine, eight, seven, just because they hit puberty. You need to know that. No comment, but because y'all just gonna misconstrue my word. Okay, well. <laughs> Now, this is one of the heavy, massive red flags here. He asked him, you know, are you ever going to sleep with someone who's like, you know, 8, 9, 7, 10? And he goes, you know, no comment because you guys are going to misconstrue my words. It's a pretty simple fucking question. One that can be answered with a very simple no. And the answer for that no being that that shit is wrong, nasty, disgusting, and heavily illegal. Adult man to find a minor attractive. And he said yes. No, 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 no. The, the, question, the question was does he find them attractive right because oh does he yeah it was yeah. because can like, and he, he said yes find them or no can he choose to find them attractive my bad right but then he made a claim that uh like uh, i asked would you can you find a minor attractive and he said what age so you, then it you absolutely then it was, can, can find attractive or do you yeah, find i mean them i think that they, i think he's making some sense because it's, it's like this oh like, my god you can choose to find like so now it's like this like we obviously know this this is why i hate you so, so we obviously know, right? Like, there's this spectrum of like they've hit puberty, um, bro. They've hit puberty. They, yeah, you know, yeah. They got tits. They got an ass. Khalil Law yeah. needs to make room for a cell for yeah. a cellmate. It's not like I'm finding a ten year old attractive. Yeah, like if they've hit pu like that's what I'm saying. Like if they've hit puberty, if they're mature, if they actually have a brain, if they can think, they can absolutely. Yeah, I, I would say, you, yeah you like a I, I would definitely is mature. Is a fifteen year old mature? A, a fifteen year old can be. be mature. Yes, they, that's exactly. Sexy. Bro, bro. <laughs> Saying a 15-year-old girl is mature enough physically and emotionally to have a child with a much older man is absolutely fucking insane. Given the fact that, you know, your brain doesn't stop developing or isn't fully developed until like the ages between 23 and 25 years old. Now, for the, you Christians out there watching this video, Q-Top here is going to make two videos right after this live stream talking about the entire situation and its controversies using the Old Testament and the Bible to back up his responses of saying that that shit is allowed and it is A-OK. -okay. He makes it very clear in all the statements that he makes that his preferences is what the Bible prefers. He follows that book completely, so whatever he likes or whatever he prefers is what the Bible prefers. Not any Christians watching, I just want to make it readily apparent. I know that this guy does not represent any of the views that you guys stand for at all. I just want to make that clear. Mature enough to have intercourse with you as a man? Absolutely. Like an adult yes. man? Absolutely. That's fucking insane, dude. 
You're talking about what about your child? What about I'm your gonna daughter? Lose, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use protection. If your daughter obviously. is 15. Do you want a 40 year old man uh, like in, like See, trying to like? Question. That's a different question. So absolutely, absolutely. That's a absolutely. different question. Uh, the age, but how does how does that correlate? Consent, the age of consent. Yeah, the age. How does that correlate? 30, 16. That's the age of consent. That's She's mature. She's mature, bro. She's mature. No, but I'm the father. It's a different stance. It's a different yeah. stance. <laughs> it's a different stance. That's right, Seth. That's right. Now let's slowly walk through this together. So Q-Top here thinks that it's okay to impregnate and be with a underage 15-year-old girl as long as these two things are checked off the checklist. One, they are physically mature, meaning that they've hit puberty and they've gone through that and they've hit, had their first period. And then the second box that he checked off is emotionally mature enough. So as long as there are those two things, he thinks it's fine. But what is baffling to me is how does he think it's okay for him to sleep with any other man's daughter as long as they are physically and emotionally mature enough to go through that you know situation with him but he won't allow it for his future daughter and that's just a different question everyone including myself know that the shit that seth and q top here are saying is completely wrong but to me from what i'm getting from this conversation and they're backpedaling on their statements basically just seems like they are trying to use their statements as a way of saying that they should be allowed to do it but they don't actually think it's okay or right to do Dude, why? How? How is it different? It's a, be, because, dude. Like, I don't gotta worry about it, bro. Like, so say, and and 40, 40 and fifteen is wrong, bro. But say I'm twenty eight, right? I'm twenty eight years old. I That's can find. Gross too. That is absolutely not, dude. They were two years old when you were like. Wait, no, actually, no, ten years ago. They, they dude, were literally three years dude, old. Dude, don't be were, that guy, Parker. Or no, don't. five years old when when you were don't literally fucking guy. eighteen. You were eighteen don't. and they were five, bro. Don't be that guy, bro. Don't be that guy. What do you mean? Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that resorts to that man. Like, oh, you were the two. Dude, you're both pretty much adults. You're both hit puberty. You know what I mean? 15 is pretty much an adult. It's close. It's close to 18, three years. Yeah, so when you know what I was doing when I was 15. What does this jackass mean that it's close enough? Your brain doesn't fully develop until you are 23 to 25 years old. What do you mean that's close enough to being an adult? That's a 13 year difference. You're saying, oh, Close enough. We're not fucking rounding up here, Seth. I, I don't know what you're trying to get at saying it's close enough, but we don't round up with ages. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Wait, ask the question again, bro, because I, I want to make sure. Yeah, a nine-year-old that is that is gone through puberty, right? Would it be okay with you to engage in intercourse with her? A nine-year-old that's gone through puberty? Uh, wait, it's called procaceous puberty. Possible, is it possible for a nine-year-old to go through puberty? Yes, procaceous or oh, procaceous. I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, yeah. Procaceous puberty. It's, I can't it's believe. I can't puberty. believe we haven't got a. We haven't got an answer already so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the the uh, youngest person Q top to ever hit puberty as, well, as a female, I think, was documented as like five. Yeah, I don't. And she got pregnant, pregnant right away. I mean, I I don't think that's okay. But again, like I would have to consult like scripture, and 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 again, this is like. Oh, a so Q top, uh, genuine question here. You're telling me you would have to consult scripture and read a book to know if it was okay to sleep with a five-year-old or not. You're genuinely going to have to consult with scripture to understand if it's okay, right or wrong, to sleep with a five-year-old. Now I think it's time that we move on to when he addresses the situation in two different TikTok videos. In the second TikTok he made, he was kind of just gaslighting and making fun of the people who responded to his very first video that he made about it. Now everybody's still watching at home or in your car or on the go or outside or wherever the hell you're watching. Just make sure you have a seatbelt to buckle in because shit is about to hit the fan. You may think that he would just apologize and say after some further researching within his own mind or some shit like that, he knows that that's wrong and he should have said it on the spot. No, he doubles down and backs up what he said. So everybody please buckle up because we have a hell of a bumpy ride to get through. What's up, Christ Gang? I'm making this video to clear up false allegations on my name. A lot of people on the internet are accusing me of being a P3DO. Um, I just want to make this very, very clear. I am not a P3DO. So it all started when I joined Parker's Live um, and I was asked the question. I want to know if you're saying that it's okay for you to sleep with a minor, someone who's 987, just because they hit puberty. I need to know that. I wanna to go to an objective standard, right? And the objective standard is, what does God's word say about this? Before we get started with that, um, I just wanna make it make it clear. Um, 
I prefer what the Bible prefers, right? So I, I don't just have my own opinions for these issues. I look at what the Bible says, right? And so essentially for preferring what God's word says, I'm called a patrillo. Well, Q-Tip, let me uh, give you the rundown. So basically, people are calling you that because you literally said on a live that you think it's okay to sleep with a underage girl as long as they are physically and emotionally mature. I mean, are, are you not comprehending the situation? I thought it was very crystal clear why people are mad and calling you that. So, the Bible does not specify a specific age for marriage. The Bible gives two specific things that would imply that a female is ready to engage in sexual intercourse within marriage. Now, those two things are if the female is physically mature and if she is emotionally mature. Physically mature, what it's saying is the female has to have menstruated, okay? Within Jewish culture, the menstruation of a female signifies her physical maturity. Different females, right, hit this at different ages emotional maturity now what is emotional maturity is a female mentally ready or mentally capable of making that decision to engage in sexual intercourse now different females obviously mature at different rates what's really 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 important about this thing right is that you cannot put a specific age on it that's why the bible does not mention a specific age for marriage right different females are emotionally mature at different ages and different females are physically mature at different ages q top i really want you to deep what you just said there because what all you just said boils down to this Hypothetically, you're saying that a five-year-old could possibly be physically and emotionally mature enough to sleep with an older man. Like, you do not deep what you're saying. Now, I don't usually go out of my way to insult anybody. I try to be respectful to the people that I make videos on. And I know some of you disagree with that, but I just show respect to everybody because why the hell not? And I don't want to be just one of those commentary people who go out there and just start making fun of their appearance for a little bit of views and clicks. You know what I'm saying? Now, Q-Top, one of the main things that I wanted to say to you personally is that if you have to refer to scriptures or a Bible to know whether or not it's right or wrong to sleep with a five-year-old girl, six-year-old girl, seven-year-old girl, eight-year-old girl, or nine-year-old girl, or ten-year-old girl, then there is something genuinely wrong with you. Now I'm going to show you the second video that he made. What's up, Christ Gang? Um, I thought I made myself clear, um, but it seems like there's some people on the internet that are still not grasping what I'm saying. You cannot put a specific age on it. That's why the Bible does not mention a specific Just like some Christian cult leader, this dude wants to utilize the Bible to justify why it's okay to sleep with and marry underage girls. Okay, clearly this guy just has a lack of comprehension skills. I made myself very clear. I don't believe anyone should be sleeping with underage girls. I said a female must be emotionally mature and physically mature to engage in this thing. Use your head, bro. What are you telling him to use his head for? What he said was right. Did you just like blow in from stupid town? Last video that you made, you literally justified it being okay to do that as long as they were qualifying for two things, emotional and physical maturity. And you just did it again after you told him to use his head. You did the same exact thing you did last video to justify what you said in the live streams, what you debated over. And now you're telling somebody to use their head because they're calling you out on what you said after you justified it. And now you're going to sit there and say, use your head. You have no comprehension. What are we supposed to comprehend? There's nothing to comprehend. We're just going off exactly what you said, and you just tried justifying it in the last video. To an objective standard, right? And the objective standard is, what does God's word say about this? That's a pretty odd way of saying no. No in no context, in any context, is it okay to have physical relations with a nine, eight, and seven-year-old. I don't believe at any given point in time that a nine-year-old should be engaging in intercourse. I don't believe that. Plus, aren't you an atheist? You don't have objective morality.
literally anybody can have objective morality. I could be raised in an atheist household and I would have objective morality due to the fact that my parents believe in certain things. It's just stuff that's inherently taught to you. For example, if I was to steal something from somebody or steal someone's car, we would know that's bad because I'm taking away from somebody else's hard work and achievements and their shit that I'm taking from them. And just how we look at giving to charity or helping people out or being there for your friends, that's inherently good, right? I mean, anybody can have objective morality. It's not just there for Christians only. It doesn't matter what you believe even. And I hope everybody watching today's video is having a really good day or a really good night. That is all I have to talk about today, so I will see you guys on the next video. Everybody have a great day or a great night. I'll see you in the next one, and stay safe. See ya.